Hi and thank you very much for coming to watch this video and once again also thank you so much for all of the comments that you've been posting and for all the sharing of your thoughts and feelings and of these videos posting and all the rest of it. I really do appreciate that so please continue with that and um, continue to support the channel and I just wanted to say very quickly before you go on to watch the video um, I am actually offering the chance to do taster sessions at the moment so for all the people who have actually um, emailed me and asked me to go into more detail about what happens and how it works and, and what's likely to develop um, along the process and at what sort of pace and, and all of those things how does it work on Skype um, I just want to say what I've said to a few people that the best thing to do, the best way to try it out if you don't want to jump straight into six weeks of tuition um, is to just book a taster session. So, And I've realised from all the questions that a lot of people don't know that that's available. So just go to the, click on the link below, go to fifthdimensional.blogspot.com and look for, I think it says uh, mentoring taster session or something like that. So just book an hour and just see how that goes. It's not too much of a commitment so you, you know you won't be uh, too tight in but it will give you a really good sense of what to expect in the process okay thanks very much for indulging me and um, I hope you enjoy the video bye hi lovely light workers oh my god it's been a really really intense time since that last moon um, I'd love to hear what your comments are on that what's been happening for you um, and um, my feeling about this week is that it's going to be a really really big week this is what I'm um, kind of getting from the angels as well. I can feel them coming really, really close now and re-emphasizing that. It's going to be a big week for getting really, really close to the heart of who you are and what you're here to do. So that will involve letting go of some things. Um, it will involve maybe embracing some new things, new ideas, um, connecting, connecting with new people and trying different things. It might involve a few surprises in terms of which path you take next or what you let go of in order to move forward next or, you know, all of the other manifestations of getting more focused into the essence of what and who you are and what you're here to do at this time. So that's my feeling and those, those are my um, impulses. Um, from the guidance that I'm receiving. I'm just going to see what the cards have to say. They might confirm that or they might have another message altogether. Right, sound and music. Wow, okay. So, another gorgeous card. Let's read about what the Atlanteans did with sound and music. In, the, in Golden Atlantis, the people loved harmonious music that kept their frequency high, provided inspiration and opened up creativity. They built sound chambers of perfect geometric proportions for healing and to balance the chakras. Appropriate music was played in the teaching temples so that children's minds would be receptive to absorbing and assimilating information. In the Halcyon times, there was no rock or heavy metal, as no one needed to express disharmony or discord. Instead, they were attuned to the infinite. Now, that's really, really nice to read, especially um, at a time that's going to be much more about um, coming into the truth of what we are and into our hearts, because there is a, there's a music to that, and um, there is something about music that's very truthful and pure. It it simply affects us because it's vibration and we're vibration it affects us at the level of consciousness um, at which it was created and so it makes perfect sense to me that we'd get a card about music so what I would recommend then just linking all of these things together is and the way I'm feeling it kind of forming in my mind's eye is choose a piece of music this week perhaps that really really reflects a couple of steps along your path and um, I'm not sure exactly what I mean by that I, you know okay yes they're breaking it down for me thank you that can be either the lyrics reflect something really power a really powerful message of where you are aiming to go what how you see yourself perhaps two to five months from now 
um, in embracing, fully embracing your divine purpose. So it could be a song that, you know, a song about mastery, a song about, um, you know, how you see yourself, or what, what you are, something that, you know, even on quite a, a 3D level, you know, the kind of character that you want to become, there could be a song that perfectly expresses that. And if you want to look at it purely vibrationally, then pick... Um, you know, if you really want to start resonating at a higher frequency and going to the highest, finest vibration of what you're here to do, then find a piece of music that really, really feels as if it's on the same frequency. And whatever music you choose, my suggestion is that you have that playing again and again and again until it becomes like a mantra, until you start to wake up with it in your head. And I just want to quickly say this because I'm just being fed all of this and um, the memories are being triggered as well from as far as my personal experience goes. Um, is anyone else waking up every now and again with a song playing again and again and again, over and over and over again in their heads? That happens to me quite a lot at the moment. And usually there's a message there. And I know the angels work a lot with that and spirit work a lot with that. Our, you know, our loved ones and friends who have passed on and our guides. So also pay attention to any um, recurring and repetitive melodies and songs that pop into your head or songs that are there first thing in the morning when you wake up. So it's going to be a really important week for attuning to our to the correct frequency f through music and for also hearing guidance through music so take all of those things on board and also choose the perfect song for you to to create your new being peel away some more layers and what's really 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 underneath them what's the finest most true and perfect um, frequency of you that you're ready to embrace say over the coming week also, because obviously perfection is a never-ending thing, is infinite, it's, we're constantly perfecting. So choose the right piece of music for your next phase of perfecting. And this is the note that comes with the card, Harmony. This is the card of Harmony. Your guidance is to make sure that everything in your life is in balance and accord. Learn or teach in a relaxed way. It is also a reminder that beautiful music and chanting can change your mood and lift your spirits. That's another thing that's really, really important. However, what really came through um, from my guidance was to use it as a creation um, medium. Okay, so use it to create the next frequency of you that you want to manifest in this dimension. Okay, and use it to, to uplift yourself as well and to, you know, to put you in a particular state. It's also great for meditation. So that's it. Thank you so much for listening. And um, I really do love all of your comments and all of your responses to the videos. I love the sharing. And um, also, if you really enjoyed this video, do please share with your friends who haven't come to this channel yet, who you think might also be old Atlanteans or who are just light workers or who just want to create a heaven on earth. <laughs> just, that's all, just a heaven on earth. <laughs> okay, so um, have a great week everyone and um, I will be back in the middle of the week with something else. Okay, bye.